Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. Let's just get right to it and let's start talking about how to make more money as a day trader. As day traders, obviously we wanna make money, but are there ways out there that we can make more money? And yeah, there absolutely are. And what's great about what I like to do, and it's just a small little tweak that you can make to your day trading strategy that's gonna bring you success and is ultimately in the big picture going to help you make more money. And that's always a good thing. So right here you can see some of my recent results, $1,811. And I bring this up not to brag, but just to let you know that what I'm gonna be talking about here is not based in theory, it's not some sort of textbook. This is stuff, this is results that have happened in the real world. So as far as this you know, uh, you know, day trading tip, day trading strategy, whatever you wanna call it, it's from the real world. It's not from some textbook definition or anything like that. And like I said earlier, the great thing about this is it's one question that you need to ask yourself. And when you ask yourself this question, this is essentially what plays out. So envision it like this, that is you, all right? And then that is the question. And once you ask yourself that question, it is going to force you into good habits as I'm about to show here. So if you're looking to make some extra money as a day trader, looking to improve as a day trader, then let's focus on this question and show how it just, like you said, basically backs you into a corner and says, hey, you have to now have good habits. But before anything else, we need to first identify the problem. And as weird as this sounds, the problem begins by making money. And what I wanna do here is actually walk you through, so you saw the results of that trade, but I wanna show you how the trade actually played out uh, live. So I've taken some of the footage from that and I wanna show you it, and then it will continue on. But let's see how this, like I said, potential problem begins when I made the money. So let's watch this trade and see how it all played out live. I'm gonna go ahead and get short here at 145.99. I believe Roku wants to roll over here. So it's rolling over. Okay, now it's just a matter, not if I make money, but how much money am I going to make? So again, not if I make money, but how much money am I going to make? So I'm just gonna follow this down. What do I mean? Well, I have no idea how far down this is gonna go. I have no idea, and that is a good problem to have. So like I said, I'm just gonna let this work for me. And I'm all out there for $1,600. Let's see what time is it? 9.31, so less than two minutes in the day, up $1,600. As a quick little side note to what you saw if you were brand new to the stock market or brand new to trading, I went short, meaning I wanted prices to go down. And yes, believe it or not, and I'm there, I have lots of other videos on this, but the, it is possible in the market to make money when prices go down. So I, quote unquote, sold short, that is trading terminology, Roku, and because Roku stock went down in price, I was able to actually make money. So you're, you're not seeing things, a lot of that confuses a lot of people. Wait, how did you just make money when prices went down? Because I shorted the stock, I went short. Again, lots of other videos on the concept, and I, I realize it's a bizarre concept, but that's just the awesome part about the stock market is it doesn't matter what direction a price goes, you can still make money. But, so there we go, the, the problem begins by making money like you just saw. And then there's this underlying problem that shows up, or it's kinda a secondary problem, and this involves time, meaning that all took place, what you just saw, in 41 seconds. So 41 seconds and then $1,600. So. Let's kind of focus on the brain real quick. And I get it, the brain has all these parts and I don't even know how to pronounce half those words, but honestly, I don't care about that stuff. What I care about is how is my brain, what is my brain doing that influences me as a trader? Because I mean, don't get, again, that's great. It's very, there's a lot of smart people out there that came up with those words and discovered all that stuff and that's fantastic. I'm not taking anything away from those, but in more of a practical making money type of way, what does this matter to me? And it matters because let's think about this thought process that's going on in our mind, you know, that's going on in our brain. And it goes as follows. I just made, insert whatever amount of money in only, and then, you know, insert the amount of time. So in this case, hey, I just made $1,600 in only 41 seconds. 
For you, it could be, I mean, the markets are crazy. It could be, wow, I just made $100 in two hours. But I mean, think about that, $100 in two hours. Wow, that's $50 an hour. I mean, how much do you make at your job, if, at your part-time job or your full-time job? Or what does that break down to? Is it $50 an hour? I mean, so think about that. Oh, wow, I just made $50 and it's been, oh geez, just 30 minutes. I mean, think about that, $50 in 30 minutes? That's, that's actually quite crazy when you stop and think about it. Or if you just look at the minimum wage. I mean, you look at what the minimum wage is out there and then you start to run that through the numbers and yeah, $50 in 30 minutes, $100. Heck, let's just call it $100 in three hours. That's still $33 an hour. Not bad at all when you compare it to the minimum wage. So your brain is gonna start to do that. Like, wow, I just made this amount of money in this amount of time? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go and you start to think very, very highly of yourself. Your confidence level really just starts to get a little maybe out of control. Now maybe not necessarily after the first time, but there's gonna be some sort of point where your mind, you are just gonna be feeling really, really good about yourself from a confidence perspective, and then this is what that ultimately leads to as far as the trader brain is concerned. Uh, not good things. So you need to understand, this is how the human mind works. You make some money, and then all of a sudden, you equate, wow, I made that amount of money and only that amount of time? Here we go, and that's what leads to problems. So can you relate to this? Maybe you've been there. Now, if you're brand new to trading, probably not, so please just believe me that this actually exists. Don't learn the hard way. But if you do have experience with trading, I'm sure that you've been there, or hopefully you can relate to this. But you are winning. Not necessarily just a single uh, trade, but maybe it's a winning streak. I've seen this all the time with winning streaks. People you know, put together a few winning trades um, in, a, in a row, and then this happens, right? They just, boom. Their brain takes them down pathways they don't wanna go, and what that does that result in? Well, right there. Wait, where did, have you ever been there before? You're, you're making money, you're making money, and then all of a sudden, all your profits are gone, or the vast majority of your profits are gone, or in some cases, all your profits are gone, and then you've actually now, you're, you're losing money within the, the overall picture. I mean, have you been there? Can you relate to that? I, I've been there many, many times. Or, yes, yes, uh, hey, wait a sec, where did it all go? What, what, what just happened? And that is the problem. However, I like this quote here quite a bit. Complaining about a problem without posing a solution is called whining, and there is no, crying in baseball, well in this case, there's no whining in trading, okay? Classic movie, if you've never seen it, A League of Their Own, just good stuff there. But yes, yeah, there, that's the problem, right? We've identified the problem because in order to fix a problem, you have to first identify the problem, right? But I don't wanna just leave it as a problem, so what is the actual solution here? So this is how you work your way through it, and this is how it all works. This is how you're going to start to make more money because you make more money if you don't give back all your gains, if you don't lose the money that you originally made, right? That's how you're going to make more money at the end of each week or at the end of each month. Whatever time frame you're looking at is, well, you need to make sure that you don't end up in one of those situations where you're, hey, wait, where did all my money go? So here you go, you're winning, and then this, stop, stop. Stop and ask yourself just one question, okay? I promise you this question is awesome and it is going to force you to have good habits as a day trader, as a swing trader, really as an investor, as anything. It's going to all of a sudden rewire your brain and that's the idea here, right? We have the brain and we know what the brain is gonna want us to do. It's gonna want us to holla, make it rain, but we don't want that. We want to force yourself into good habits and you do that by finding your happy place, okay? So what do I mean by your happy place, well this is what I like to call the sleep easy amount. So you have to ask yourself, and this is the key question, what is my sleep easy amount? Of course, well okay, what is the sleep easy amount? This is what is the minimum amount of money to give me peace of mind? So that's what you should be asking yourself. What is the minimum amount of money to give me peace of mind? I mean, okay, I'm happy with that amount of money. I, I'll sleep easy, I won't be mad, I'm just happy with that. That's, that makes me happy, that makes me just peaceful, that, do, that makes me no negative emotions. I, I'm content with that number. Perfectly, that would be fine. Big warning here, and I get it, you know, it, it goes counter to what society says, but if your answer to that question is, wait, I want more money, that's what I want, I want more money. 
Once again, in many situations in athletics, in any sort of, ho- well, not any, in a lot of hobbies, that's the right mentality, right? What? No, more. Keep going. Let's go. Keep going. Drive, drive, grind, grind, hustle, hustle. More, more, more. Let, let's get to it. And that's fantastic. That's great. I love that attitude, but not in trading. Not in trading. That's why most traders fail because they fall into this thought process, which again, in the vast majority of situations is awesome, but not in trading. So if that is your mentality, then please go and watch this video on the YouTube channel, the top five rules for traders, because if that is your mentality right now that you would answer the the question is, my sleepy easy amount is I want more money. No, no, go watch that video, please. And from that video, rule number five, so for those of you who have maybe watched that, then you, hopefully this will, you'll remember this, but rule number five, ABA, W-I-I-W, always be asking, what if I'm wrong? So that's a little secondary question here, all right? So let's see how this all plays out and how it works. Again, no theory here, we're gonna go through this exact example. So as a recap right there, I was up $1,600 in 41 seconds. So it'd be very easy to be like, Boom, I just made $1,600 in 42 seconds. Let's go, making it rain, here we go. The momentum's just starting, Let, let's get to it. But no, stop, Clay, stop, stop. What if I'm wrong on the next trade? So what if I'm wrong? What is my sleep easy amount? And for me in this situation, it was $1,000. Where does $1,000 come from? I have no idea, I'm guessing it's because it's a nice round number, it's four digits, and it's 1,000. But at that point, I told myself, you know what? If I were to close the day at $1,000, I'm happy. I mean, $1,000 in one day, usually I try to be done by uh, you know 90 minutes in, so $1,000 for 90 minutes of quote unquote work, sitting at home, clicking buttons online, you know what? I- I'd sleep easy, that would be great. I would have total peace of mind with $1,000. Once more, uh, you know, there's no you know, mathematical equation. I suppose you could come with a mathematical equation if that's gonna give you peace of mind, but for me, I, no, I just, that, that's a nice number. $1,000 for right around 90 minutes of work online from home. I'll, I'll take it, so that was my number. So we take this number and that's gonna help us find what I call the safety net amount. What do I mean by safety net? Well, remember, this is us, right? You could be wrong. So therefore, we wanna have some sort of safety net out there for us as traders from the mental perspective, right? We wanna keep our accounts growing. We wanna keep on making money. And like I said earlier, it's hard to make money if as soon as you make it, very soon thereafter, you ultimately lose it or lose the vast majority of it. Very hard to make money at the end of every week or at the end of every month or at the end of every year if if that's what's occurring. Good news here is though, Very, very easy math. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the amount you've made and you're gonna then subtract out the sleep easy number. And then that is going to give you the safety net number. So in my situation here, again, no theory, these are real life results. I had made $1,600. As we just discussed, my sleep easy was $1,000. So therefore, my safety net number was $600. That is now the key number going forward, $600. And this is where these forced good habits come into play. And what is actually forcing those good habits? Well, the $600 number. Because that's going to now, you know, quite frankly, it's going to make it very awkward on you, right? It's gonna push you into a corner and be like, hey, this, this is how it is. So let's just say that I see a potential trade. And based on what I see, I'm thinking, all right, well, because I use this tool and because I you know, am looking at all these different dynamics, which I'm not gonna go into here, that's besides the point, but it would be logical to risk 25 cents per share. Logical is a key word there and I'll, I'll come back to that, but that's the overall idea here. Is, and this is, again, this is all true. This is all based on a real life result. So I saw something else and I thought, you know what? Based on what I see, it, yeah, 25 cent risk per share, that would totally be logical. But that becomes, okay, well, is this smart? Now, I, I don't have much hair these days, so I'm gonna just, look at that. Now I have an afro, that's fantastic. I, I am jealous of that guy. But, so is this smart? Well, have you ever thought about that? Be smart as a trader. Okay, yeah, that's true, you need to be smart as a trader. Be disciplined as a trader. That's very true, you need to be disciplined as a trader. But how exactly are you smart? How exactly are you disciplined? Well, that's how this question all functions and forces you into doing this. So let's just say, 
And this is the problem. This is one of the huge, huge problems that people have. Sure, the brain is going to make you think, yeah, let's make it rain, let's make it rain. I'm doing great, I'm doing great. But it's not, that doesn't force you to start to risk more from a, from a per share perspective. What it is gonna force you to do and what happens in probably nine out of 10 cases is you just start to use more position size. So in this situation, let's say that I'm falling into the trap. The brain is doing the, yeah, holla, holla, make it rain, let's go. You just made that amount of money on 1,500 shares, so now let's do, Clay, 2,500 shares. Let's go 2,500 shares. Let's increase our position size. Let's put more money in. I mean, it does make sense, right? Wow, I'm making money, I'm doing great. Let's even use more money, and then I'll do even more great. I realize that's not how the English language works, but you get the idea, right? More money. I'll have more success. I'll make more money by using more money in the first place. No, no, that is the death keel. But let's go through the numbers here. All right, so I wanna risk 2,500 shares and I wanna, like I said, I deemed 25 cents risk per share is logical. So what does that actually equal? Well, that equals that if I'm wrong, remember, so what if I'm wrong? Well, if I have 2,500 shares and I'm risking 25 cents per share and I'm wrong, that means I lose $625. But what is my safety net number? 600. Uh Uh-oh. Not to insult anyone's intelligence, but 625 is more than 600, meaning if I were wrong and I lost, I would now be down below $1,000, and then I would not be happy. I would not have peace of mind. I I can't believe it. I was up over $1,000, and now I'm down below $1,000. What? So that is denied. This is not a good trade plan for your next trade. So your two choices at this point in time, you can either focus on your position size or the risk amount. Now in this situation, I couldn't do anything with the risk amount because literally that 25 cents was logical. Now that definitely brings up something that I also see. People are like, well, I'll I'll just risk 10 cents instead. And then it becomes totally not logical. So don't get me wrong, that's great you're managing risk, but it's not a logical risk. It doesn't make any sense to now only be risking 10 cents. Sure, it makes sense from the math perspective here, but from an actual trading, from an actual practical perspective, it just doesn't make sense. So, and that's our job as traders. What is logical? And that's where all the tools come into play that you can learn about and expand, uh, which is, like I said, videos upon videos. But the idea here is you always have to make sure things are still logical. You don't want to make things non logical for the sake of making this work. But assuming you have a strategy, assuming you use tools, uh, for me personally, I like to use technical analysis, technical charts to help me determine what's logical and not logical. But just keep in mind, that is something that's very, very important. But here's my situation. And in this situation, two choices. You can either lower the position size, meaning not put as much money in, or you can lower the risk amount. In some situations, yeah, it might be worth it for me to say, you know what, instead of risking 25 cents, why don't I risk 15? And that could still potentially be logical. But in this situation, again, we're not talking in theory here, this is an actual uh, trade, it didn't make sense to change that risk amount. The risk amount needed to stay at 25 cents, which is fine, right? That's process of elimination. If the risk amount needs to stay at 25, well then, that only leaves us with one choice, right? Position size. So therefore, I thought, you know what? I, I, I'm left with one choice, and I need to go to 500 shares. Now, in all actuality, I was never tempted to do 2,500 shares uh, because I'm, I'm always doing this. But like I said, let's just, you know, had I actually pretended to do 2,500 shares, notice how that question has has safeguarded me, right? It said, oh, wait, wait, wait a second, Clay. I know you wanna do 2,500, buddy, but that wouldn't be smart. Now, I, I could have kept it at 1,500. I could have even kept it at 2,000, uh, you know, really, because that math would have still worked out. But in all actuality, what I did was I went from 1,500 shares, and then I just used 500 shares. So 500 shares, and I'm willing to risk 25 cents each, that would equate to a potential loss, again, if I'm wrong, what if I'm wrong, of $125. And that would give us a safety net Again, our number of 600, so once again, no, not insulting anyone's intelligence, but 125 is much less than that safety net number of 600, which means totally approved to make the trade. So with that being said, let's see how this next trade all played out. We have an order at 140.15 for opening 500 shares. Okay, I got those. And out there for $150. 
Now, in this situation, that was definitely the, the traditional. I actually bought first, and then the price went up, so I made money. So that's in trading terminology called going long. So nothing confusing there. I bought low and I sold high, which is you know the, the kind of stereotypical way to look at the stock market. But So in this situation, again, that was the trade that we just witnessed, and this all occurred in 22 seconds, and I made $150 more, and then that brought the total amount on the day to $1,800. But again, let's stop. And it's time to, because not, oh wow, I'm up $1,800, let's go, let's go. Nope, time to stop. Just ask yourself that one question. What if I'm wrong? For this next trade, what if, I, what if I'm wrong? What is my sleep easy amount? And this number can change. For me, it definitely did. My new sleep easy amount at this point was $1,500. Once again, I don't know, there's no precise mathematical formula, but for me, just the nice round number, $1,500, 90 minutes. Because this is all this has all happened in the first just 10 minutes of the day. But yeah, if I can, if I know that I'm up $1,500 for 90 minutes, <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I'm more than happy with that. So my sleep easy number has changed, $1,500. So because that has changed, well, what else has changed? Well, we need to make sure that my safety net has been adjusted. So how do I do that? Again, the total amount I've now made is $1,800, and you wanna subtract out the sleep easy number. So that equates to my new safety net number of $300. So now going forward, the most I should be willing to lose is $300. If I go through my trade plan and I realize, oh wow, if, if I do something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose $400 if I'm wrong, uh-oh, time to change up the trade plan, be either position size or their actual risk amount. And you just do that over and over again. And that's gonna help you hold on to your gains. And when you hold on to your gains, when you don't give your gains back to the market in the big picture, you're going to make more money. Very, very simple, simple question but absolutely powerful in terms of how it's going to force your human mind, your human brain to think. It's going to say, no, 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 I realize you wanna go down the make it rain path, go down the, hey, I'm sort of a big deal path where you get way too overconfident. I know that's where your brain wants to take you, but we're gonna force the brain, the thought process to go down that pathway, and the pathway here is to make sure that you maintain, hold on to those profits and that is what you want from the big picture, to just see continual account growth, and that question is gonna help you do exactly that. If you did find this video helpful and you'd like for me to keep making things like this, really two ways to, to show that. Hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, a comment down below, if you, do you have any more suggestions for these types of videos or anything like that? Uh, you know, I make no promises that I'll ever do it, so I wanna be straightforward there, but hey, I'm always open for suggestions and feedback. I really love to hear from all the subscribers and I do my best to reply to every single comment that is left. Uh, if you don't believe me, then hey, put me to the test. Leave a comment down below and, and see if I respond to it. And then also just check out the channel as a whole. And if you like the content there, uh, then I, hopefully you decide to subscribe. There are lots of these other live trade videos. So the, the parts of the video where you actually saw the trading play out, if you found that pretty fascinating, then yeah, check out the channel. There's an entire playlist, I think of over like 350, maybe it's even 400 now of live trades. So you can watch those and lots of other content so check out the channel and hopefully you decide to subscribe. And then also, if you're interested in joining my community that I offer, you can just go to claytrader.com forward slash team and learn about how all of that works. But if nothing else and you just enjoy these videos and want me to keep making them, hit that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe. Thank you for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. 
click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.